Hey, what's going on YouTube? What is happening everybody? Steve bringing you a little more aqua porn today. This video is going to be again about my do-it-yourself uh, reef controller. What's this down here? Oh yes, I have the quarantine tank set up because I picked up two new fish. I finally got brave after my ick uh, outbreak and picked up a couple more fish. So I got something for you fish people in the future as soon as uh, they get acclimated. I picked up a Fiji Blue Devil Damsel. Uh, my kid liked it. When I heard Damsel and then the word Devil in its name, I was really hesitant. But he's pretty mellow. He's pretty cool. And then there's also a Potter's Angel in there somewhere. Fell in love with that guy. So I'll have a good video for you guys coming up in the future. But right now, it's more about my controller build. Now I built the controller and I just kept pressing on and moving forward moving forward so now I'm starting to tie up some loose ends. First loose end that I tied up is with the LED screen. So let's go to the LED screen. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It doesn't look like it. But I'm working on this side. This is giving me the maximum values of all my lighting. Basically just the status. Now these are where the maximum values are going to be in the sunrise sunset function. Uh, Benjaf is his screen name, B-E-N-J-A-F, so Benjaf at the Planet Tank wrote a pretty nifty little bit of code for a lighting schedule that I just incorporated into my system here. And uh, what I was able to do, I was never, it's the sunrise sunset basically is the default basically a timer that's what gets me to the pan of lights from left to right so basically it's on a timer and then I had this dimming control screen where I could dim each channel but they never work together now I finally have them working together where I can set the maximum values of each of my different color channels get a good blend then when you hit the enter button over here, it saves that as the maximum value in the sunrise sunset program. So it ramps up to that maximum value and then it fades down from this maximum value. And you can change these uh, as often as you like. You just have to hit the enter button right here and that saves it to the EEPROM. So if you lose power or something or reset the board or load in another program uh, it saves these settings another thing I did let's see we'll just uh, do a, a royal blue <clears throat> in case you come in here like it is right now you saw the lights were off you can come in and say oh I would just want to check it out real quick you can tap your lights on but if you accidentally like start playing around you now let's just get it down to well, we can go to zero from here and then what is nice is that I was able to hit it so you just hit the power button again and it goes back to the stored value so you're not going to lose that stored value until you hit that enter button and then you can leave this screen without doing anything by just hitting the back button bring and it brings you right back to the LED screen so that was a major victory for me pretty happy with that just wanted to share it with the Arduino guys and give kind of the guys who are downloading my code and working with me over at aqcenter.net come on down join us always can use another mind on this project to give direction help out offer input those types of things so aqcenter.net it is under the marine hardware section so next thing to do is I'm gonna set the uh, sunrise start time it's going to be a fixed start time and then it's just going to be a 12 hour schedule so you'll be able to set the start time but you won't the finish time is going to be uh, it is what it is kind of thing so we'll get working on that code that's next to do to next up but uh, another victory here in my coding and another step forward with this build pretty happy about it stay tuned for more on this build and then all my fish friends, stay tuned when I introduce you guys to my two new fish that I'll be uh, introducing into this tank in about four weeks after they go through a nice QT period. 
Have a good one, everybody. Comment, rate, subscribe. Visit uh, the build if you'd like at aqcenter.net. Take it easy.